Hi. Now you know everything about uh, to f how to form a limited liability company or a incorporation. The same thing. Uh, how to do it by yourself, DIY. So you know you don't have to pay big bucks. You don't have to pay a lawyer. You don't have to pay, uh, you know, someone to do it for you. And if you follow me, uh, remember on step one, uh, you have to register your business, your name. You have to actually then uh, step one let you register let you form the LLC limited liability company I uh, you know rem remember when I said uh, what LLC stand for is a limited liability company but what is limited uh, limited liability company is for example you have a store you have a, a office in the corner or you have a home, um, you have a home office, or you working by yourself, and for yourself, it's only you. Or if you have other people working uh, for you, like your, uh, you are the employer, and they are your your employer, or you got a partnership or something. You need or. You just have a website that you selling uh, products, or you selling membership, and like the pay per view, or you make money to your blog. It's it's a personal blog. You don't make big, but you still need to form an LLC. Yes, it protect you because when you form the the LLC you you go to okay you can open a business account if something happened to you okay if something happened to you or a lawsuit or you you liable a just found liable you know your 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 personal bank account your house will go will will you know they will take everything that you own your personal you know your house your car and everything but when you form an LLC some are even though you liable personally liable you're going to pay but first thing they are going to shut down they are going to take it's your business account that means you still have your own house you still have your own car but they are going to you know to take your all be all money that related to to your to your business not your personal account it's good though so it's not that the big company going to to do it and pay taxes but it's out there and you can do it you don't need a big corporate lawyer and big box uh, you know empty your bank account to do it and we show you okay now we on step four if i remember step one we did we did step step one step two when you form your lsc you need a EIN number even even you don't you don't have any empro employee you you are a single member you you are a ceo you own it you working for yourself you, you are a self employer you still need EIN, EIN number and in step two you see you have seen how I did that okay in step three you if you live in New Jersey or the state you need to register for tax uh, purposes so you need to pay your tax for the first year you're not going to pay but each year that's why they call it they're going to send you an annual report and people or lawyers uh, ask big money to file an annual report for you and I will show you you can do it you can uh, in a matter of second <laughs> yes 
and now we are on the fourth step after you have done your taxes you have to open a business account not a personal account you go to a bank now that's that's the step okay that's the step you go to any bank but be careful where you're going some bank I'm not going to tell you which bank because then I don't I don't get paid <laughs> And I don't get paid for you know for for commercial I don't get paid for for that so they don't they don't they don't they don't pay me to say the name but I'm not going to to say any name okay but I'm going to give you a hint so you can you can you can choose between you know there's a lot of banks out there so I'm going to give you a hint. Some bank, some big bank charge you a fees. Okay? They charge you a fees every month just to maintain a business checking account. They charge you a fees for it. But a co a community bank, like a small bank, that's where I went. That's where I opened my even my personal account. I would I open in the small bank and community this bank make sure they don't charge you any fees because you don't make money you don't make money you just start a new business you don't make money to go to the big bank that charge you big time the small community bank maintain you just open a, a check it account for fifty dollars a business go to the bank and open a business account for fifty dollars and even though a fifty dollars is on account is sit on your account for two years for three years for five years they're not going to charge you for just maintain a business account that's why I'm not gonna call a name I'm not gonna say anything which because I don't get paid for <laughs> I'm not going to advertise for banks and and no money for it so that's why I don't call it in but I give you a hand make sure make sure go to any bank and ask them if if they charge for just keeping the bank you can open a free there's a free business business checking account and with no fees no monthly fees at all I know two banks two com community banks on my area don't charge for fees at all sometimes I got 30 uh, you know you need fifty dollars to maintain the to, to maintain the account sometimes I went below the fifty dollars my account got 35 20 just 20 dollars but they still maintain my account and they don't charge me for not keeping my fifty dollars it's good though why I said that because you just open account you don't know if your business is gonna you just need you just be you you it's not you don't make money it's only you you need to be legal <laughs> it's good though it's good to be legal every time i, I got a business I, oh i i got a um uh, llc a limited liability business i'm proud to say that because i don't pay anybody i don't pay any lawyer to to farming that's why it's easy for me to uh, to do it on step two you have to open a business account what you need to open a business account let me tell you what you need let's close the full screen you need this you need your certificate LLC certificate remember in step one you print it out instantly online you print it out on that or you can request one for one for five dollars or fifteen dollars I don't remember I don't I'm not going to say so you will see it on you will see it when you're done first step okay you you need the the you need you need the uh, certificate okay you need the certificate that has the 10 number on it 10 digit number on it LSC number that the certificate and you need a point out SSS form that you you already done in step two that's have 
your five, your year-end number. That's all you need is that. <laughs> you don't to open a business account. You need the you need a certificate LLC limited liability a certificate. You did you did on on, on step and you did in step one and you need a year-end number SSS for SS4 form that you did in step in step in step two okay now if you have two you know two document you have SS4 you have SS4 from the IS that the EIN number and you have LSC that you form and you good to go you walking in the bank make sure you did a, a, a check online before you do it or you can call the bank before you know you go to sit down when you arrive at the bank and you got two document in hand you you print out two document okay now what kind of business do you have? Okay. Well, what kind of business do you have? If you do win, for example, if you if you do win online business and PayPal, 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 you know, take care your take care all transaction or other online online uh, processors uh, doing it for you beside PayPal you don't need big you know machine that you swap you you don't need those uh, uh, machine you just need to open a simple business checking account you just need to open a simple business account and PayPal PayPal every transaction you 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 know online you don't business online and PayPal ticket and PayPal you can transfer that money to the to your business account remember when you open a business account and you got your account number and writing number you can go to PayPal and open a business account with PayPal also if you don't business online okay it, it, it doesn't matter it could be a blog uh, a blog a blog that that you you know just write down and then you you people pay for your blog or it could be a, a product that you sell in online it could be anything if you make money online it's not big money it could be big money it could be small it could be little okay but you have to do to to open a business checking account if you go that far you follow me and since step one to steps four is that that hard you can do it okay you can do it get your business a certificate get your ss4 from rs ein number and working on the bank and then open a business simple business account and tell them that you just you know if you if people now people can pay you to the uh, money order okay they can pay you to money order and everything you open to the wall you open to the business because you you do those steps you 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 come that far you you come this far so you now you open for business you could get the loan to you know if your business is doing well you can get the loan from the bank from a bank so you open for business the world is open for you even though you're not making you know making it making a lot of money but you're doing it right I'm telling you you're in the right place and how it's not gonna bother you the only thing I is going going to bother you if it's you not you're making money online and paper you know when people are I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to say that. People are, you know, people think that ours is is dumb. Ours <laughs> is not that 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 dumb. Okay, when you're doing business online 
in PayPal take your transaction or something you know some other company take your transaction online you know what happened now they are from K1 and people send all your information to your eyes and you not report that money to your business and you not register any business or you can do it on your own on your own name you don't if you're doing in your own name you don't need to do you know to register a name because your social security is already registered for you so now now you think ours is done say ah, i'm not going to to go you know to register any business because i don't i don't want to pay tax hmm, now let, let me tell you you're doing business on credit card you don't be so lie you have to do it you have to do these steps okay you have to do it okay now when you open the when you open a business a checking account with a bank make sure if you are a big company you you can go to any bank but if you're doing a small home business you got a small office at home it's only you know it's not that big you have to go to a community a, um, a bank and not charging you any monthly fees not charging you for any transaction and my bank never charge me for any transaction even though I you know I pay or uh, put put money in and then out they won't charge me that's the kind of bank you're looking for okay why you need a bank you need a bank when people you need a bank a bank to make transaction online okay it to when paper when you use paper or another company now you you don't use your personal your your personal bank account don't use it use your business account you have to open another paper account that's mean a business account people not going to charge you just for the transaction fee you know people make money on transaction on pair transaction basis that that's how they make money but they're not going to charge you because now you got a business it's the same thing when you transfer your money to your bank and and so on you see open now you got a uh, uh, your bank business checking account okay and you you've done you you good to go you good to go and when you when you have your business when you done now you got you got three number <laughs> you got a uh, uh, LSC number that's the, your certificate LSC you got your EIN number now you 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 got your bank account okay your bank account number your bank account number it could be I don't know it could be any number it could be any number bank account number remember bank account you have writing number on it okay remember writing writing number and account number Bank account has two. Okay, writing number usually nine. It could be nine, nine digit or something. I don't remember. Yes, writing number and account number. This is this is bank. This is your bank, okay? This is your bank. Now, what else you should do, okay? What else you should do? Okay, I will explain you on the next tutorial. Now you open a checking a business, not a personal business account. Before 
be, before I leave, one more thing. Why you need to open a business checking account? It's important. It's imperative. It's a law. When you have a business, you never know. You never know something could happen in the future. They might, you might be liable. They might sue you for anything. Now, when you open a business, a business account, every money that you know from your business should go to the business checking account, not in your personal account. Listen, it's important to know that. When you open a business, a, a business checking account, every time you make a transaction online or offline or in your office, on your store, don't put it in your personal bank account. You have to put it in the business checking account. Now, if you work in, if you if self employed how could I, I get paid? Because I got my personal account and I'm working for myself. I'm a self employer. Who, who's going to, who's going to pay me? <laughs> now, it's like you have to write, you have to write yourself a check. Listen, listen what I say. I got my own business. I form a business. I I went through all all these steps. Step one, two, third. F now I'm the fourth step. Now I open a business account, and my business is getting you know making money. I'm starting making money with my business, and transfer and put money to my business account, not the checking account. Why? Because when you file taxes, you have to file taxes with your own name, but you, on Schedule C, you have to pay tax with your business also. If your business has, a, you know, you're going to get a, um, some expenses, yeah, but those expenses is not your personal expenses. It's the business expenses. That's why it's important to not put your business income or revenue to your personal account. Just put it on in your business account. Okay? Uh, make myself clear. Do I make, make myself clear? Okay? Why is that again? Be when you need to pay yourself, it's like normally you pay employer. If you you have to set how much money, how much, don't pay, don't go, don't take money, <laughs> don't take money to your uh, business account for your personal use. I'm telling you, it's that good. It's not that good for for accounting. Don't take money from your business checking account and then for personal use do it like you work for somebody else okay when you if you want to if your business is good and making money make yourself a, a cut yourself a check every week if you can afford every week you can pay yourself every month or monthly payment or weekly payment is that normally you you go to work for somebody else okay you go to the bank because when you open a, a business checking account they give you a, a book check okay a checkbook they give you a, a checkbook and you write down every month or every week what you want it, it's like you pay yourself it's depend on your you know it's depending on, on, on your business activities or business revenue or income or something that is depend you have to write yourself every month a personal a, uh, a check you write your own check <laughs> you pay yourself you pay yourself now with the check you withdraw you go to the bank or you can do it online 
you withdraw money from the business checking account to your personal account right now you see you see the trade you withdraw money from your business checking account to personal account not for your personal use not for you know you to pay for for ladies for you know for cars and everything no because it's your monthly you know be, because it's your paycheck <laughs> you pay yourself monthly or weekly or bi-weekly is depend it's you, you you pay but don't make it like it's going crazy oh I own somebody money I went to my bank account my business checking account if you own money go to your personal account if you own somebody money beside not related to business expenses you have to go to your personal account but if it's related to the to this business this particular business I'm telling you <laughs> you yes you have you have to take you have to go to to business checking and and board I hope you understand you have to se separate business account and personal account when it's matter when it's expenses for personal use like oh I want I want to go to 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 a movie uh, uh, theater with my girlfriend an example so don't use credit card business uh, and debit card no this is the thing that you going to you know you going to see a movie it's not related to, the, to your business it's a, it's your for personal use your your personal business your personal debit or credit card but when when you're going to pay to acquire a, a software for your business a bench a chair for your business a new storage for your business you can use your debit credit business card I hope so uh, that's how you do it okay not getting in trouble with the if you're doing that way you're not going you're not going in trouble okay you're not going to fire yourself face to face with Uncle Sam. Okay? You heard in the news some celebrity or uh, as an organization they mess up personal life with business. You getting in trouble. You you heard it every day. You you know you you started a pastor started a, a non profit organization and the mess up personal account with personal with business with the church with and everything that's not good okay I hope you follow step five step five step four I mean step four you open a business checking account remember to separate business account and use it when you dealing when it related to business and not use it when you when it's not related to business Okay, chai, bye for the next one for step uh, five. Bye, chai.